I mean, yeah. As far but... as I know, I mean. I mean, to be fair, it's to be fair. Like, I would love to see it, but I'm not going to be disappointed if they don't. I wouldn't yeah. be disappointed if they don't, but I would love to see. Honestly, I would just want to see the Halo Three cutscenes like that, like how they yeah. did Halo Twos. The studio and blur also stuff. Halo... Yeah. Yeah. And also Halo One, like just animate, reanimate all the Halo cutscenes with Studio Blur. Yeah. No, they're so. Like it's it's a million dollar job on each cutscene, and god damn, it looks it's like it. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Especially when you see the fucking grave mind. Holy yeah. fuck! God. He is all way the, more intimidating. All the little flaps and stuff. You see, yeah, like all the fleshy uvula. bits. Yeah, it's and you can uvula. see like he's got like a circ like he kind of looked like a jawline when it was like in Halo Two, but now it's it's like a tunnel of circular fleshy teeth. It's great. I say he. It's really. It, from the in the original graphics, I always say he looked like a a, uh, a piranha plant. <laughs> yeah, but now he looks like a genuine like eldritch horror, exactly. and he really is, especially in Halo Three when he's like reaching into your head, yeah, just to talk to you. Hmm. One of my my favorite shot from Halo Three was actually right in the beginning. You know when uh, Truth uh, contacts the base and he like, finds out where you are, and then there's that one low angle shot of that slowly zooming up to the Master Chief. Remember that one? Yeah. It all, all the yeah. lights are dark. That's like my favorite shot, or at least one of my favorite shots. Because if you didn't tell me that was from a video game, I swear to God, I thought that was real. Because it looks Wait, so is that when, real. Is that when he's teleported onto High Charity? He grabs the Needler from the Grunt, and then Truth no, no, is no, like, no, no, kill no. the demon. No, no, no. In, in Halo Three, the the oh, in three, three, cut, right? Yeah, yeah. The cutscene where Truth finds out where your base is. You know, uh, I think the level CR one one seven, the the first cutscene. Right, right, the first cutscene. Oh, yeah. Um... yeah where Tr Truth and Lord Hood are both talking uh, to the Master Chief and everyone, and then there's that one Langle shot, and the, the, it's it's not the first level, but it's the second level. You know when you're in the military base? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know no, that's, that first cutscene, yeah. right? Yeah, well, yeah, like you're getting everyone to evacuate from the base, and yeah. uh, you have to blow it up at the end, too. <laughs> yeah, after, after, like... every, yeah, after everyone's out. But yeah, that it's the one, one before down. Sabo Highway. Yeah, the very first of the second mission, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. I see, I know what you're talking about now, yeah? For yeah. whatever reason, I thought we were on Halo 2. Um, <laughs> but you know that's no, what I love, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, what I love in Halo... There was a shot in Halo 2 that I really, really like, too, is that if you look... Um, is that seeing High Charity get, getting slowly corrupted on the second mission you do it as Master Chief on? Where you see like in amber clad and it's like jutting out of a pillar, and right. then the uh, and then of course you have the oh shit moment when Cortana's like it's in amber clad, but there are no life no human life signs detected on board. I'm like oh shit I know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so glad I finally finished uh, Legendary and Halo One and Halo Two. I, I did it a while ago, but I'm so glad I got the hardest ones out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. In terms of uh, remakes of games that I would want, uh, fuck all of them. I really want uh, Simpsons Road Rage Remastered because oh. I've been playing a shit ton of that game this month. Just for no reason, I reinstalled Dolphin and put in uh, Simpsons Road Rage because I really want to play Crazy Taxi. And I just didn't want to install Crazy Taxi for some ungodly reason. And oh, fuck, on. dude. Simpsons Road Rage is so much goddamn fun. It's come on over, it's Crazy Taxi. I really want Crazy Taxi on Switch because, like, come on, is there any console more perfect for Crazy Taxi than the Switch? Let's get to play as BD Joe. But at the same time, I really want to play Simpsons Road Rage on something that isn't uh, a Dolphin emulator that's barely working sometimes. <laughs> isn't it kind of amazing how, like, years ago, it would have been impossible to consider the idea that a Dreamcast or a Sega game like Crazy Taxi would ever be on something Nintendo? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. If you grew up during the '90s, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I started to I have did. that feeling when I saw that uh, Sonic. Uh, the, the, there was Sonic Advance on the GBA, and there was Sonic Heroes on the GameCube. Mm -hmm. No one ever thought that Sonic would ever show up on a Nintendo console because Sega versus Nintendo was the console war of the '90s. Listen, I was not alive in the '90s, so all I can say is it's it's weird to think that there was a time that 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 like 
Nintendo and Sega weren't kind of... Yes, I've seen, like, all the old Sega ads, but at this, the way that I've lived my life at this point, I'm like, yeah, Nintendo and Sega, they've always kind of just been buddy-buddy about things. Did you know that, um... Microsoft and Sony actually have a professional relationship with each other and will congratulate each other on releases. Which, like, but... that's the idea we need in... No, no, like... but here's the thing. They will never do that for Nintendo, even though they're Japanese. But she would think that they would have a loyalty for... No, 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 here's that why. That doesn't surprise um, me. No, no, let me explain, let me explain. Um, there was a time in history where Sony and Nintendo were going to have a deal. And some of you probably yeah, know this story. The, yeah, the PlayStation. The, the Nintendo PlayStation. Yeah, and they fucked and they fucked it up and screwed over Sony and said, "Fuck you! I'm gonna make my own game console." And, that's how and then Nintendo, it. Nintendo's higher ups were like, "It's okay. There's no way Sony could build something that poses a threat to us." Yeah, hubris is pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. But that's uh, why um, Sony and Microsoft—it's nothing personal between them, and they have a respect for each other, but. Like, when it comes to Nintendo and Sony, Sony has, like, a grudge on Nintendo. Well, I don't Which want to blame them because they got publicly humiliated. Yeah. But then again, it's also mm -hmm. been, like, 25 years. I mean, like, I can hold a grudge, but Jesus. But here's the thing. They're still competitors to each other, though. Yeah, I guess. So there's nothing, there's nothing to really diffuse it. They still want to outsell Nintendo. I think for me, though, it's... I, I don't get console wars. Again, this is... I don't either. I've never... Never growing up in the 90s, I don't care about console wars. It's like, I like my Switch. I'm eventually going to get a PS4 just to play the games that I really want to play. And I enjoy both of them. Oh no, console wars still exist. Console wars still exist, sweetie. It's just more a thing of, um... I used to be involved in them in, in 2010 and I'm in 2009. And I was like, this is... I look back at it and I'm like, this is so childishly retarded. It's like one of those like embarrassing days in high school thing where it's like... Yeah, that was me. Unfortunately, I was cancer, yeah. which is why if someone if someone tr I remember <laughs> someone in the original Riff Cafe tried to engage me in a console war, and he's like older than me. I was like, dude, I just got out of an argument about philosophy and politics. Your thirty year old ass is trying to lecture me about a fucking game console. <laughs> I think it's funnier when you go like. When people are still, like, in a console war about, like, the PS2 versus the Xbox, it's like, it's been almost 20 years since those. Like, grow mm -hmm. up. Okay, guys, time to break out. Yeah, I, I don't know. Time to I break out the like, lifesavers. I like, I like my Switch a lot, because I like to play stuff like Animal Crossing and uh, mm -hmm. Stardew Valley, but, like, I also would like a PS4 because Spider-Man looks really fun. Um... Bliss has a PS4. She only plays on. Um, she only plays the Spyro Collection, which oh, there's another game I never thought would go multiplat. You can. I, yeah. The most surreal thing I ever saw was when Solar Flare, because he visits every so often. He's only like a two-hour drive for me, so we have him visit often. And one of the things is, um, the one of the most surreal things I ever saw was when he whipped out an Xbox copy of Spyro. That was like, dude, this is like some, this is like some alternate universe shit, man. Or like. Uh, Crash Bandicoot on the Switch. God damn it. Right, like, again, like, in the 90s, this would have been, like, unthinkable. It's like, oh, you come on! Crash on the oh, N64? I'm out of time. Are you at orb menu? <laughs> <laughs> I, this is, this is a true story. Uh, was it Saturday? Or what was the day after you did the stream last week? Um. Oh, no, think... it was Monday. It was, it was on Monday. Uh, I got a notification on my phone. It's like, Golden Fox is sending you a message on Discord. I'm like, okay, what is it? I opened it, and all it said was, or menu. It's the funniest <laughs> thing. It's like, god damn it. It's like, well, it was early, too. This is like, the joke that now. Or menu. <laughs> or menu. Dang it, I can't see what time it was, but mm. I remember it being pretty early for me. <laughs> all I just got was, or menu. <laughs> It's like, god damn it, this is funny, but I'm really tired. <laughs> or like, um, I know like there are other, there's some other combinations I would have thought and think about like, uh... God damn it. What's another good combination? Um... Mario and Sonic like, at the Olympic Games is still weird. 
It's yes. It's well, it's it's era. interesting because I think it's like it's like a friendly throwback to that era when they were like when they were like mascot rivals for Don't each other's kill. console because they were like the flagship characters for each other. Thank you. Yeah. Um. The only weird fusion I've seen Ow! in like other Fuck. aspects of life is no wait I should probably stick to this. Um. I mean, we all knew Halo was going to eventually come to PC. I'm glad it. I'm glad it finally happened. Because at least with the old Halos, because it's just kind of like, I would like to just play it in one spot, and I don't want to have to worry about my console, like console hardware. Besides, if it's PC, I can just add a controller in if I want that authentic old ah. experience. Yeah. I'm thinking about playing through the Master Chief Collection because I've only played some of the Halo games. I haven't played all of them because you know, I didn't own a console from the Wii to the Switch. And Which never one had did you did you play? Uh, I played Reach with my best friend. We played mostly multiplayer, but we did play mm -hmm. the campaign together, which I then did again like 10 years later with some other friends. We took a weekend and we played Reach's campaign together. And that was a really fun experience. And I'm like, ah! yeah, I might actually think about getting the Master Chief Collection and playing through all of them. Barrage enemies. Well, what's cool is that, but yeah, no, Reach was kind of cool because um, there's a lot of meta shit in it if you actually analyze it. Like, do, let's do the shit we do with ponies with Reach. If you actually analyze it, there's a lot of meta shit that Bungie put in there, including the fact that um, God damn it. on Noble Six's uh, serial number, the final go, two go. Uh, digits of your serial number are Jeez. your first and last initials. Noble Six doesn't actually have that. Instead, it's replaced with two X's. And the explanation given is that you're not supposed to know his name or her name because, cannot, bun according to Bungie, Noble Six is canonically you. That's cool. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't like about Reach was... I I kind of figured out from like halfway point that all of your team is gonna die, you know, after George and all that stuff. I I kind of feel like everyone was gonna die, but you could tell the writers had no idea how Cat should die because she just got hit by a sniper. It's like it's like everyone else yeah, got make her own the her, Yeah, her explanation is kind of weak sauce. Like she was meant to be a jump scare, and to be fair, she was a jump scare. Mm -hmm. Um. But the writers were like, uh, how do we kill the... We all got these epic deaths for this character... Um, for all the other characters. How do we kill her? Uh... Jump scare. Uh, uh... Jump scare. She got, she, she got uh, uh, shot by... Sniper. Uh, th that's yeah, epic, it, right? it, the explanation given... The explanation given, though, is that when she's working on electronics, she'll turn her shields <laughs> off. Which, I mean, it kind of makes sense given how shields are described in the novels. Um, if she's working with circuit boards, the shield might, I don't know, fry a circuit board. Hmm. Like, so, so, I've, I've worked with I've worked in ESD environments, and yeah, you'd be amazed at how easy it is to fry a circuit board, like without even trying. You can yeah. literally too many electrons in the air is enough to fry a circuit board. They also yeah, drill that into you because if if they saw me walking around with a circuit board, uh, I'd get in some shit if I wasn't if I wasn't uh, moving it in a particular manner or with certain equipment. Because they're like, dude, the electrons in the air might fry that board. So, Peter, do you actually have the Master Chief Collection? Did you buy it for there Steam or go. no? I have it for Xbox, not okay. Steam. Okay. So I'll, I'll probably get it. Yeah, no, I need to... What I'm probably going to do is after... When I get working more, um, I'll probably get it for, I'll probably get it for PC. I don't know, just to play with people. Don't all Xbox exclusives also uh, transfer over to PC? Maybe. I think you have to oh. use like some weird uh, Microsoft account thing. Damn it! But I believe that you can just transfer all your stuff over from Xbox to PC. Hmm. I'll look I into would, that. I yeah, I would look into it and don't take my word as gospel because I don't have an Xbox. No problem. This is just um, me guessing. But I actually have some good news, and I want to talk about. Uh, I yeah. won a fight with Warner Brothers. <laughs> Wait, I've been trying to get put up a video um, this week for my series uh, uh, Batman vs Superman rewritten that I finished last year. I said at some point that I was going to make a compilation of all of them put together as one long movie version of it. And uh, I uploaded it this week and got an email immediately saying that it was blocked worldwide because of copyrighted footage, which has no audio from the movie and is flipped and black and white. So like and it's only 20 seconds with just my audio over it. 
And uh, so I've been fighting on that 20 seconds for like three days. And I just got an email confirming that they have dropped the claim and I'm going to upload it tomorrow. Woo! It's going to go nice. public tomorrow. Yeah, what say? You know, yeah, that, uh, were you like fighting with fair use? Yeah, I was I was saying like, hey, okay. this video is like the most transformative thing you could make. I am describing an alternate version of this scene and I'm using the scene as a reference point visually. It's like, there's no audio from the movie. It's There's no way you could see this as a replacement for the original material. It's literally yeah, my whiny voice over it. No, that's, that's because of their automation thing because uh, as it turns out, there's so much content uploaded to YouTube that it's it's impossible to hire enough people to re to manually review it all yeah. with a human, so they need yeah. an algorithm. Yeah, and, it, and the video was privated already before uh, I got the notification, so I knew it was going to be that way. But I have had to like sub I, I, the com the claim was taking way longer than usual to go through because I've had this happen on a few different videos where I'll have some footage from something like Double Rain Boom. I had that happen where uh, it automatically detected there was audio from My Little Pony and it you know blocked the video worldwide and. I had to fight that one, but that took like four or five hours to clear up. This has been like three days for just waiting Ow. for them to give me a response. Like, so I was actually working on trying as best I could to tweak the original because uh, these are uh, these were edited on, on my old laptop and I don't have all the original uh, editing stupid. files off of them. So I've had to, I, I have an alternate cut of the of the full version that actually just blocks out that 20 seconds of footage. And over it says, Warner Brothers won't let me upload this because they're assholes. <laughs> so I don't have to upload um, that one. I'm going to get to use the original. 